Hey there, I'm Pooja and I'm here today to walk you through Plain's simple, intuitive and flexible project management features. I have already signed up and have a workspace ready for my demo, but if you haven't, just go to plain.so and sign up for a free account. Let's get started. The first thing you do is create a project, which is super easy. Just navigate to my projects in the left nav bar and create a project for your own. I already have created a project called marketing, which is what I will be working on for this demo. But before I do that, I want to show you how to invite members. You can invite as many members as you want in your workspace. Just navigate to settings under workspace, go to members and click on the add member button and enter the email ID of the person you want to invite. That's it. I'm done adding another person to the workspace. Now, as a project's admin, you can add issues for your members and assign it to them. There are several ways to add issues depending on where you are in plain and your adoption of our software. The most popular method as a new user is to click this button right below the workspace's name. Click that, give a title to your issue, give you a description if you want. Change the properties, set an assignee, set a due date, and you're ready to create an issue. Should you want to create more, toggle this on and off so you can start creating one issue after the other. This feature comes really handy when you want to create issues and let assignees set details and props. Another great and easy way to add an issue is to use power and k command, a gateway that puts a bunch of handy shortcuts at your fingertips. No learning, no complex key combinations. Just press command and key on your keyboard, click on create an issue and you will see this familiar modal. In other delights that let you work together better without switching out to Slack or GitHub, you have issue comments that let you brainstorm, triage, and find paths forward without irksome copy-paste into Slack. For simpler and more convenient issue tracking, you would want to see issues on layouts that suit your just-in-time needs. Switch between five out-of-the-box layouts like so. This is great. So now let's create a view with sort, filter and display options applied to a layout. We'll go to view, click on add view, give your view a title and apply the filters that you want. And there we have it. Our first view is created. This is it for issues, views and layouts. In the next one, we'll see how issues form cycles and modules and how you can get the most value out of them. Meanwhile, see docs.plane.so for simple how-tos and answers to the most common questions. I'll see you later.